Good evening and welcome to a brief incumbents update just to let you know a few of the things that have happened in the past week uh, and to connect with parish council so you're aware of some of the special things that have been going on in this last few days. First of all, uh, my um, thanks and my congratulations to Jerry. Jerry Melville would became a member of the Order of the Diocese of British Columbia this last Saturday in what was rather a lovely service at Christ Church Cathedral. And uh, as a mark of our gratitude as a community for all that Jerry has done and continues to do, it was a lovely way to make public our gratitude for her. I want to express my gratitude to the Dean Emerita, uh, the very Reverend Ansley Tucker, who came and spoke to us very well on uh, stewardship this last Sunday. And if you haven't had the chance to hear that, I do recommend that you go to our website and look up the sermons and go back and, and listen to Ansley's reflections. It really was well worth, um, it is well worth listening to. Also on Sunday, we said a big thank you to Chuck Nielsen for all that he has done as he steps down from many, many of the duties that he has been doing for some while, uh, particularly as verger and server and crucifer. Um, he's been very visible, um, but there's a lot that Chuck has done behind the scenes. And I know that we're all very grateful for all of his ministries and his generosity in giving his time and his energy to this community. This uh, last Tuesday, the day started uh, relatively early with a meeting of the downtown service providers uh, that takes place on Lower Johnson at the Salvation Army ARC. And uh, that's always worthwhile. There was much to learn and to hear and to be updated with regards to what's happening with many downtown service providers, uh, particularly the struggles that people are having with staffing and the efforts that are being made to support those of our street family who are um, out and uh, needing those mental health and medical supports, uh, which often they are excluded from. On Tuesday evening, I had my last board meeting for the North Park Neighbourhood Association. And not that I am not going to be involved with the Neighbourhood Association anymore, but uh, I felt that after seven years, it was time to stand down as a board member. And so I'm no longer involved in the governance of that association, but we are still very much a part of North Park. We've had the usual things happening this week. Midday prayers happen online on our Facebook page every day. And uh, when possible, I post those videos up to uh, our website and they go into our, uh, normally our news section on the website. We also had our um, early morning Eucharist yesterday at 8 a.m. And we had our midday meditation Eucharist uh, here in the chapel. And we had sermon circle and leadership team and all the usual things that we've had. I've also been very privileged to have some uh, pastoral conversations, a chance to chat over coffee with members of the community. Uh, and uh, I'm seeking to catch up with a few other pastoral visits uh, in the coming days and couple of weeks. Uh, and as you know, those things uh, keep going um, there's never an end to those kind of things and that's not a complaint just a recognition of uh, our lives as community this coming sunday i'd like to draw your attention to the fact that we're having a dedication sunday and it's also we're calling it commitment sunday as our pledge cards uh, are invited to be uh, given back as part of our sunday service this coming week at 10 a.m also at 4.30 p.m. we will be uh, having, as usual, our even song, which is gaining some traction and is a beautiful service. It really is one of the highlights of, of any given week. And then at six o'clock on Sunday, we will have um, our Sunday soul, sorry, our soul space, as we're calling it now. And that will take place in the uh, Walking Together Chapel. And I invite anyone who'd want to come to a less formal service. The music is a cappella or uh, guitar led. Um, there's a, it's got a Celtic flavor to it. And there will be an opportunity as we lead towards the season of all saints and all souls of remembering uh, those who we have loved and lost, those who have inspired us, uh, those who have been our saints in our own journey of faith. 
And I think that's that's it for now. Um, there was an excellent session yesterday evening on what is democracy put on by the Social Justice and Social Action Group. And uh, I recommend going to the second half of that. And if you're able to watching the movie What is Democracy, which is available free online at the National Film Board. So that, I think, is it. Thank you to you, members of Parish Council, for your leadership and for your support. Uh, it is still uh, a great honour and, most of the time, a great joy to have this position of service and of leadership as your incumbent. God bless you all, and I look forward to seeing you sometime soon.